Aboriginal tribes are some of the oldest in the world. Aboriginals live all over Australia, mostly in the outback areas. Aboriginal painting was started when images were needed to aid in storytelling. While music was played in the background and an elder would sing of the story, an artist would draw in the sand to depict the story and its happenings. They would use earthly elements like pigment from rocks, ochre, crushed seeds, and anything they could get their hands on. The stories told revolved around something called dream time, which referred to a period from the origin of the universe before the living memory, when the world took shape and all life began. These stories were sacred, and no one outside of the tribes was supposed to understand them. This became a problem in the 1970s and 80s, when the artwork began to catch mainstream society's eye. To allow for outsiders to enjoy their artwork, but not to understand the specific stories, Aboriginals started abstracting their work with dots. This allowed for their style to shine through without directly portraying their sacred tales. And this was how the Aboriginal dot paintings were created. Australian Aborigines have been using boomerangs for hundreds of years for hunting. The unique curve in the boomerang allows it to be thrown and eventually circle back to the thrower. Boomerangs often have symbols and stories painted on them. The symbols that Aboriginals use should be introduced to students so they can create their own narrative. The symbols include things like rainbows, the sun, men and women, and campsites. Encourage students to create a story when they paint their own boomerang. So when you go ahead and start uh, your project, you're going to want to have just a plain piece of paper. Uh, it doesn't have to be very thick, uh, just enough to hold uh, some paint on it. Now, if you don't have uh, a boomerang like I do to kind of copy, you can go ahead and find lots of templates online or even just print out um, a boomerang the size of what you want it to be, just image of one. Uh, go ahead and have um, you know your students cut them out and you can go ahead and start to trace it on a piece of paper. Uh, once you trace it fully, uh, you'll have kind of just this interesting shape that will create, um, obviously, your template for the design. Now, I'm going to use a series of symbols that we learned about on um, this boomerang to create a story of my own. So something that I really love is the idea of the star. So I can go ahead and start uh, drawing the star on the top of the boomerang. Uh, also remember there are a lot of different um, dividers in um, the artifact we have here. So you can create some uh, kind of lines throughout and just start to do a very simple drawing. It doesn't have to be very um, complicated because that's going to happen with the dots. We're going to really uh, kind of spice it up with that. Uh, so the next step that you'd have, you have kind of this um, drawing you're starting to complete here and soon you'll have kind of your complete drawing. Uh, you can see that I have kind of um, these lines coming out here that don't necessarily uh, represent a symbol, uh, but more so just kind of the way I'd like the dots to form. Now, we're going to be using a couple different materials to do uh, the dots themselves, and they're all very safe, uh, non-toxic acrylics. Um, obviously, um, there's nothing sharp uh, or you know dangerous used as far as materials go um, in the implementation. There's a couple different things that you can use. Uh, you can use uh, Q-tips, which are obviously uh, super easy to find. That'll create a nice little dot on the end. Uh, also, you can use the end of a uh, pencil, the eraser mark, that'll create a nice dot for you. Um, one of my favorite techniques is to actually use the end of a paintbrush because it's uh, very thin and creates a uniform dot. So to start off with, we also have an array of different paints. Now you remember I talked about how they would use a kind of earth uh, things to create uh, their different colors. So we want to stick with earth tones. We've got um, reds, orange, yellows, things that you could probably find within the earth. Uh, now back to the original boomerang we talked about, they did use some bright blues and you can go ahead and add those in, um, especially some brighter colors uh, that's kind of been adopted in modern times. So you can go ahead and take the sketch that you have and start to play with this dot technique. And it's always important to kind of uh, get into it, kind of understand what you're working with. Uh, now this one is just kind of a draft, so you can go ahead and see, uh, for instance, how the Q-tip is going to work. Now on my son I've got some dots, so I can start to place these down. And the problem that I find with the Q-tip is that it's a bit spongy and it doesn't give full coverage. So maybe I'll move on uh, to the back of the pencil. Now this one has about the same circumference of the Q-tip, but maybe it'll help a little bit more. 
and it's just not leaving a perfect circle like you would want. So I go ahead and I take the end of my paintbrush, dip that into the paint, and you can see that depending on how much you load it up with, you can get a very nice dot size. See that there. And depending on how much you load it up with, you can get uh, bigger dots or smaller dots, and you can really uh, get very intricate with it. And because of the size of this piece we're working on, I think the smaller, uh, the better. Now, as we uh, kind of decorated that, we're going to move on to the point where we can draw kind of our final draft. And a lot of boomerangs use wood. Uh, so we can switch to a piece of paper that uh, kind of reflects that color a little bit better. So I went ahead and used uh, this kind of lighter orange, uh, kind of brown color. And I went ahead and drew my original sketch on here. Now you can see I did go ahead and start using the dot technique, and this is using that paintbrush. So I started um, kind of on this outside edge um, that I created this curve with, and maybe I want to continue with the red. Uh, so I can just keep going, creating these dots, and the cool thing about using something so thin is that you can really uh, add a dimension to it by adding new layers, uh, even overlapping, um, and you just kind of are able to get this really nice curve because of the small circumference of the circle that we're using. Now once you get um, continue going on, you can start to create more patterns, um, more colors, and on the two barriers here, or I should say dividers, they did uh, kind of create more of a paintbrush technique, so you can go ahead and actually use the side of the paintbrush for that. Um, I took kind of a normal color here, brown, and just kind of painted that in. And uh, when you do that, you'll get a kind of a different texture, and that's nice on the, the boomerang to have that kind of a difference, um, kind of to juxtapose against the dots. Uh, so when we're all finished, we actually have something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, very simple, doesn't take too long, but again, you can vary it depending on how long you want the lesson to uh, kind of go for, and especially the size is going to really uh, change things up a little bit. Now, to finish this all off, I'd say it'd be perfect to kind of add a sharpie edge around the outside. So I just went ahead and took my sharpie, and I can just create a border all the way around the outside, so that when you do this, it'll make it really easy to cut out, and then you can go ahead and kind of place this around the outside of the room, um, you know, create kind of just um, a display of different boomerangs that have everyone's own narrative. And another way that you can kind of add to this lesson plan is to maybe go ahead and actually have um, people write about the stories that they created within their boomerang. So for me, maybe I could write about uh, these stars that are shining over uh, this specific uh, campsite, because that's one of the kind of symbols that I use, these spirals in the corner and the main star um, at the very top. And that is how you create uh, your very own dot-painted boomerang.